We're judging 2024 trendy food predictions. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Just like skinny jeans, certain foods can go in and out of fashion. And some foods seem to trend forever, like avocado toast or anything pumpkin spice. Yeah. While others come and go, like that time in the 2010s when everybody was making cakes and mugs. That was happening. Yeah, I never did it. Yeah, never did that. Never, never did wore it. skinny jeans either. No, you, know? you never Would did. never do uh, that. Uh. There's lots of publications that have been making their predictions for what foods and drinks they think are gonna trend this year, but should any of those trends catch on? Let's find out. It's time for I'll Have the Trendy with a Side of Viral, please. Okay, broskies, up first, Yelp predicts that caviar bumps will take off this year, but do you agree? Bumps? No. Caviar, black eggs. That just looks like regular caviar, Stevie. Well, so. we've, we've dabbled in this briefly before. I believe this is a way to eat caviar. So what you're gonna do is you use a mother of pearl spoon to scoop a little bit of caviar out of the tin. You put it onto the skin between your thumb and your index uh -huh. finger. You first. Oh, dude, we did this. That's we what I'm were, saying. We were, no, maybe we've done it on the show. We did. But we went to a gathering and there was a chef there. And oh, he made Charles us, and the chef. Charles the chef made us all do this. Charles, you know that. Oh yeah. So let me let me get it. So then once it's on your hand taint, you're going to want. Oh, that's the hand taint. <laughs> oh, now you're excited. Oh, tainted a beautiful life. You're gonna wanna, you're supposed to let it warm up for 20 to 30 seconds, I guess. Uh, which will like bring out the flavor. Uh, you can let it warm up for a tiny bit. And Why then, is it called a bump? Like when I hear the word bump, I think well, of drug culture. Yeah. Is yeah. that what they're referencing? No, they're no. referencing the little bump that you make when you do that with your taint. See that? If you've got a muscular hand, say hand. If you've got taint. a muscular hand taint, <laughs> look. Can you bump up your taint? Yeah, I can bump up my taint. I understand the appeal of being able to lean over to your friends and say, want a bump? They're like, what kind of app should we get? And you're like, what about a caviar bump? A caviar what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's scandalous. Remember this we went to, um, we thought it was just like a little restaurant bar in Vegas, but it was a caviar bar, but we were just like, we wanted water. Yeah. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> and Jerry Rice was there. <laughs> yeah. And we had to tell, some some of our group, maybe you, maybe not, who Jerry Rice was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she knows what rice is. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So I love rice. This is warm. So um, we suck on our own hand. Yeah. Paint. So you're yeah, supposed you to lick it? it off using well your tongue because that's how you lick. So just lick it off and savor it. Do you, then, hold no, on. Do you kiss? Do you put the whole mouth? Then you over kiss it. it. <laughs> like do you like do that and then lick? Because I feel like if I just lick, I'm gonna flick. I don't want to lick and flick. I want to lick and eat. And you chew. Yeah, those are all the things you're gonna do, and I'll let you. Do you, do. you know, there's some artistry here. So I remember go Charles for it. was like, S like suck. He, no, <laughs> pop it, pop it against the roof of your mouth. It was wonderful. And then think about what's happening, and it's an ocean in your mouth. I looked at you, and you were trying not to laugh, and I was like, don't ruin it, don't ruin the moment. I know, I was trying not to laugh, and trying not to make this face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my, right, so bust it against the roof of your mouth. Why is my bump so much bigger than yours? Because my hand taint is so much bigger than yours, it makes my uh, okay, caviar look it, small. Yeah, let's do it. D taint it? Taint it? And stain and it. it. Okay. <clears throat> what Charles told me was, just think about. The ocean. The ocean exploding in your mouth. Yeah, like if you got hit by a big wave. <laughs> and yeah. you came up, you came up choking on ocean water. And a fish laid black eggs in your mouth. I think I got some eggs. Oh gosh, I just got impregnated by a fish. Now, I didn't do quite as clean of a taint sweep as uh, I did. As Link did. So what do you do now? Steven? Sweep the taint! <laughs> what do you do now if you've got a little bit Get left in your all, taint? We don't wanna just hide it. <laughs> just put it below the taint. You just put it, you put it below the taint? Yeah. And, this is and supposed let the dogs to be get it? The, the whole yeah, trend. The oh, oh, the hold on, the dogs <laughs> get it. <laughs> the whole trend uh, category, I guess, is, is supposed to be like, 
little treat culture, which is kind of a TikTok thing, but it's like, you know, little little things you can do in the okay. like luxury category, I suppose. Treat yourself. For yourself. Here's yeah. what I like about it. I like I like little treat culture. I like seeming like I'm doing something I shouldn't do, like a it's a bump. Right. But it's safe and it's responsible. But do you think this is gonna catch but on? I don't like the taste. I think there's a big hill to qu- to follow, to swallow, to climb, Swall- climb. Yeah. Swall- no one's gonna swallow this hill. I, I don't think this is gonna catch on. I it's don't a little so. too highfalutin. Caviar bumps. 2024. Okay, up next, McCormick released a 2024 flavor forecast, and one item on that list is Sour Power. They say next level sour will be big with standout flavors and ingredients like Tigre de Leche, Calamansi, sour orange, and pickled and fermented foods. So this is pickled one of McCormick's is not sour, sour power recipes. What's not sour? Some pickled and fermented doesn't mean well, sour. Well, yeah, it gives you that sometimes, like pucker, you know. Sometimes it does. Okay. This okay. is um potato gnocchi with oh. sour pesto. Mmm, I love gnocchi. All right. It seems like they're trying to get in our lane here. This well, seems dumb. Oh, well, first of all, and that's us. McCormick's has a has like a flavor list. Yeah, flavor just forecast. Because they, just because they're in the, the spices? I, what they, a coincidence. Do they have the authority? I don't know. I feel like we might be being um, taken advantage of. It smells this is, great. This is marketing link. Are you gonna let the marketing influence you? So they're trying to sell their sour power powders. Sour power powder. Wow. Mm. Um, mm. I mean. Okay. I would give them the benefit of the doubt, and my first reaction is, good gosh, there's a lot of lemon in this. It's very zesty. But you kind of, don't you want to kind of go back, though? It makes you want to go back. Zesty in like, you know, the McCormick's way, not in like the millennial way. I don't even know what that means. (laughs) Yeah, don't Um, don't even venture to guess what zesty means amongst those folk. But then I'm like, did they put a warhead in the middle of this thing? It's like. Mm. It's, It's, uh, it might be the calamansi, which I guess is just another citrus, but it has lime, Lemon, calamansi, and yuzo hosho. Okay. It's growing on me. Now that I know what's gonna happen, I I want more of it. I feel like one of those babies eating a lemon on TikTok that just can't stop going back to it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah. you're like. (laughs) Right. And then they're like, oh, maybe I'll go back in for a little bit more. Right. Yeah. They'll be taking bumps by the time they get in college. Oh yeah. I don't know. I like our bumps. I'm not. I'm not actually sure what I'm judging. Am I judging whether or not sour flavored things are going to be the trend in 2024? Yeah, that's the gist of it. This know. one. This Feels one. Like a safe bet, Link. I was going to say no, but then this one's starting to change my mind. See, yeah, see, you're experiencing it. It kind of makes you feel a little bit alive. I wouldn't want it to be my main dish. No, no. It's a, but a as a side bouche. piece, you know? So, uh, uh, don't say, it's just a side dish. If I get zesty with a side piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're saying Sour Power 2020 score! In just a few short weeks, I'm gonna be opening uh, this cloche. I, no, I'm going to be, <laughs> along with Link. It's gonna take that long. Uh, we're gonna be releasing our very first cookbook, the yes! Mythical Cookbook. Here it is. Josh and the, and the entire Mythical Kitchen team worked really hard on this, knocked it out of the park. We're excited for you to finally be able to have a step-by-step guide to make some of the best food the two of us have ever tasted in mm-hmm. your very own home. You can pre-order your copy right now at mythicalcookbook.com. Mythicalcookbook.com, super proud of this thing. It's awesome. What okay, is so this next one, Torani is a company that makes syrups for drinks like flavored coffees and cocktails. And since 2022, they've used global market and flavor trend research to find the it flavor and name it their poor cast flavor of the year. And oh. this year's flavor is Galaxy, um, which Torani claims brings to life the molecular structure of dust, clouds, and space. And okay. apparently these dust clouds taste like juicy raspberries and dark rum. What? what why? Uh, you, you're not happy? I don't want to be a cynic, Link. You I don't, don't like, want to be a cynic, but... You're not galaxy-minded? When you say that it's 2024 flavor of the year, you can't do that. 
Yeah. You can't say something is the 2024 flavor of the year. If you make it. At the beginning of the year, and especially if it's your flavor that you're selling. You've gotta give us your flavor, and then we tell you if it was the flavor of the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if all the award shows that nobody watches anymore were, you know, like they, it was all about the movies that were gonna be good, and it was the people who made the movies who were giving all the awards. Of course, that is kinda how it works. <laughs> Anyway, you know what I'm saying. I'm just a little bit turned off, Link. I see your point, uh, but it tastes really good. <laughs> it is quite beautiful. This is the um, Nebula Refresher, which yeah. is a recipe from their site using this flavor. So where did the purple come from? Them? What? Is this purple? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we can't tell, Stevie. It could be black. So I gotta come Pork up here to cast. get the purple. Flavor of the year. I gotta go high to get the purple. Well, actually, it also has, um, oh, that drink has butterfly pea, flower tea. The P is P-E-A, you know. Butterfly pea. Um, so that, that's from, also gives it, it it's Harvested colorful. from monarchs on their migration. This that is, is good. quite tasty. Maybe this will be the flavor of the year. <laughs> all it takes sometimes is just, all I, it takes sometimes is just tasting it, Link. I mean, I picture myself at many a rooftop bar this year Drinking this thing and just yucking it up with the, with the Hollywood elite. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. It, this is the year for that. Right. Me, rooftop Hollywood elite. Right. Purple right, drink. Right, right, right. And then going to the basement and getting not that like, purple drink and getting the blood of children uh, injected into your veins. Are we going to be doing that this year too? Hail to the yes. All right. So we're saying Galaxy Syrup 2020 score. Your next food trend prediction comes from both Yahoo and Whole Foods. They claim faux fish will be making a splash this year. Whole Foods said oh. with tin fish and caviar taking off earlier this year, it's prime time for the fancy fish trend to dip its fins into the vegan pond. Faux uh, fish. Oh. Yeah. This is Yahoo, the, um, you don't say. Plant-based tuna California roll from Whole Foods. Well, Anytime Yahoo says something, I listen up. Because they're still around. Yahoo in it up. Well. Does see, it look like you dropped, oh, you dropped it? Came, oh, it came out. Well, there you go. That's a nice little uh, display for us. Laid a little like. egg. So that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's goodness. fake. That is. That is, that is vegan fish. What is this made out of? I don't know. How do well, you catch a vegan wanna, fish? I want to wait to tell you until after you. How do you catch a vegan fish? Probably with a net, right? Because you can't lure them with other smaller fish because they don't eat them. Well, I touched my, I touched my lip by accident when I was trying to smell it. Oh, well, it's, you're eventually going to eat it, so it's probably fine. <laughs> I did. Yeah. So how was it? Uh, Tell me all about it. <laughs> well, you, I would it's, recommend it's consuming it within the roll. Yeah, it's because probably when I a reveal... lot like, yeah, those like fake alcohols that like when you drink them by themselves, it doesn't okay. taste good, but. Take one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Dink it. And sink it. I mean, I can feel something like that I think should be the fish. I don't know if I would know that I didn't just have regular. I'm sorry, I'm gonna sacrifice. Oh, this. goodness, you put a light, what's the wasabi in there? Oh, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Had enough of that? Mm. It's really the seaweed that I'm not liking. I'm gonna try to dump out the. Um, it's pretty tofu y. Tofu -y. Oh, that's gross. It looks like a tongue coming out. Uh, well, is it fruit? Is it. It's, what is it? It's, Basically, just vegetables. It's carrots in place of the lox, which is salmon, and this is tuna. But it's carrots, trumpet mushrooms, root vegetables, uh, and just like seasoning. It's I would just have vegetables. thought that you would have liked this because you don't like the fish, but it's like a substitute for the fish. Yeah, but they've made it taste like fish. They've done a really good job. When you get it by itself, I didn't just lip it, I actually ate it. Um, it's slimy, it's mushy, it's a little it's more too spongy. spongy. It's too spongy for me. I don't know, but but they've simulated, because it's grossed me out, I think that's um, that, that's an endorsement. I think it may be too early for this to catch on is all I'm saying, because I feel like there's a lot of people who make the move from you know, being an omnivore to then being a pescatarian because they're like, oh, the fish, the fish don't matter. As so much. you're saying this is 2027. This is like we're too early for this. You know, we got to we got to wrap, wrap our lips around fake, you know, 
beef and fake chicken first, and then we're just we're just getting right. there. We're right. just getting right. there. Yeah, it's gonna be a few years before we can accept this. Well, I, Too I, early. I think you're there, but society's not. Right. Faux fish. Twenty twenty bore. Your final twenty twenty four food trend prediction is. Meat flavored cocktails. Meat flavored cocktails. Mm -hmm. According to a publication called Food Republic, meat flavored cocktails are on the rise in 2024, often using a technique called fat washing. Food Republic says the flavors of these meat infused cocktails can transport you to warm memories with the taste of your favorite protein dishes. Yeah. And this is a bacon martini. Takes you back to the last time you. Suck on some fat. I know. It's like, um, is this when you want to drink your meals? You know, I don't know about that, but I will say, if I don't like this, it's not. It's definitely not going to work because I'm a savory man <laughs> who likes savory things. I like smoky cocktails. You know, I don't like sweet cocktails. Yeah. So if it's not going to work for me, and you like martinis, that's why when we go out, you insist on being called Martin. That's right, Martin's here again. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know why you keep calling me Gina. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do I do here? You drink it. I have a good attitude, I do my job, I get it, I clock in and I clock out. Hold I get, on, hold I get on. it over with. First you stir it. You wanna get, you wanna get. There that, is a bunch of settlement the Stuff that at the settled at the bottom. It's okay, barbecue right. sauce. Uh, barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh. If he was like, it's barbecue sauce. <laughs> that was your barbecue, BBQ voice. It's barbecue sauce. <laughs> you wanna go out with Mar Martin and Gina? <laughs> I do, actually. Send me the invite. Okay, all right. Well, 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 well. Martin's gotta think about this one. Think about <laughs> it, man. Mm. Martin's got to loosen his bow tie a little bit. Um, <sighs> what, what? Take off some cufflinks because he's fancy. It's not. Which I know Martin. Are you? You're talking, talking about, about Martin Lawrence and then Gina. I understand that, and that's cool, and I love the reference. But you know, the original reference that I was talking about was Martin Martini. Landau. Oh no, just like fancy Martin. Oh, you know Martin. And so I like where you took it, but I still hadn't quite got my cufflinks off yet, and walked okay. into our okay our set and said Gina or however he would say. <laughs> I already would say Gina. Not like that, probably. Gina! Yeah, yeah. I don't know how he would say it either. Um, uh, it's not good, guys. It's not good. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's, 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 a, it's a heavy lift. It's a nice gimmick. Would I rather do this or a sushi tainter? Um, a sushi tainter? Yeah, what did we You're call getting it? things mixed up now. <laughs> no, it was. That was caviar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caviar. Hey, you want to put sushi on your taint? No. Could be soothing. It could be, it could be. I might give it another shot. Uh, and Stevie, I don't think you would like this because we typically like the same types of cocktails. And, yeah, um, who I, I um, there's a, a warm, like meat-based cocktail that's popular, I think in the, in the UK that I would, I would try. But this sounds, there's something about the temperature too. The coldness just, is really, really doing it some yeah. non-favors. I taint interested in it. Yeah. <laughs> Meat flavored cocktails, 2020 mm. bore. But we did think that two of these things were gonna take off. and, and so Are gonna take off. Uh, are currently taking off. And that's what? That's the Sour Power and the Galaxy Syrup, which link, mm -hmm. both of those are brands. They're it's brand induced things. Like we've completely fallen for the branding. We are so easy to manipulate it. And so are you. Yes. Not a sponsor though. Nope. No Thanks one's for paying subscribing us. and uh, you know, clicking the bell. You know what time it is. I'm Sophia. And I'm Gigi. And we're snowboarding in Lake Tahoe, California. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh. Mythical sweatshirts. So jealous. Uh, they're skiing approved. Or snowboarding Not, approved. Well, they're cotton, so. Click the top link to watch us decide if we'd rather switch wives or kids for all of 2024 <laughs> in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. We're releasing a cookbook featuring fan favorite dishes from GMM and Mythical Kitchen and tons of completely new original recipes. Pre-order right now at mythical.com slash cookbook.